Good morning. It's definitely not morning. It is three o'clock. I originally planned on, well, don't look at my background, please. I have no good place to put you because I am literally a mess every, everywhere. So we're gonna place you here. I'm gonna ask you to kindly, maybe we zoom, zoom in a little because this is not. Today is Wednesday. Normally I like to be filming my YouTube videos on Wednesday, but I have been an absolute disaster of a human being. This clip isn't keeping my hair in. I've been having a really hard time and I have also been kind of making a mess. I did try flip filming yesterday, so I'm gonna put that clip in because if we can't laugh about it, then what is it for? I, ugh. So I, right now, was getting back into the car. There was someone passing by on the street behind me. So I was like looking at them because, you know, stranger danger, you gotta be aware of your surroundings. I was not fully aware of my surroundings because I opened the door and just whacked my nose with it. My eyes started watering. I'm bleeding. Luckily, it's not like a gushing nose bleed. So I've just been sitting here just holding it because I don't know what else to do. I know it's not broken. It's definitely not broken. I did hear a pop though. Who knew I opened doors that hard? Let's get the bangs out of the face. Put on some makeup. It looks a little bit more put together. Um, this is the update on my nose. He's bonked a little bit, but we'll survive. <laughs> My nose is still hurting, but I like, I iced it and it's not, it's not visibly bruising too bad. If you've been watching my videos and you know June has been absolutely insane for me. I've been running around. I was at this conference for work and then I had a wedding in Austin and we went to this really cool, I think it's called Wonder Spaces. It was this art exhibit. There were these robots that you could sit and they would draw portraits of you, light displays and interactive stuff in VR. My personal favorite was the sewing machine orchestra. Finally got back home and I've been running around. Today is my first day to be at home and I'm also waiting for my new camera lens, which is supposed to come today because I've been gone. I'm really embarrassed to show you this, but this is how I've been living the past couple days. I tried to start cleaning out my suitcase. That's as far as I got. That is my hamper that I need to clean. That is an airy return that I need to make. This does not go here. This is what my dresser looks like. Oh, actually, I'll open that with you guys. This is what my bathroom looks like, which is an absolute disaster. What the heck? I think the fact that this is what my living situation looks like right now that is making me also feel so overwhelmed because I'm so scatterbrained. I have ADHD. I have a really hard time focusing on things. I'm supposed to post a short today. Ugh. If I don't have a clean space, my brain is just muddled. And then I just kind of sit there and I look at the mess and I contemplate life and I don't do anything about it. So we're gonna do something about it. <gasps> they're here. My camera's here. Oh, they're walking up and I'm already, they're just leaving it? Hell yeah. Did I just move all of the mess to the side so that I could film this unboxing? Yes, yes I did. I just realized that I never actually showed you my unboxing of my camera. So here's that. I'm gonna be honest, I am a complete disaster right now, but I'm a happy disaster. <laughs> I'm not gonna shake it too hard. I upgraded. So obviously this is the box that it comes in. This is not a professional unboxing, so if that's why you're here, I'm sorry, this is not the video for you. This is just me being very excited about my new camera. So we've got manuals, all of the warranty stuff. One thing that I didn't love about this is that it doesn't come with a charger. You have to charge the, the battery inside the camera with the charger that it gives you. So it just gives you like a normal cable. I went ahead and bought the charger. This is the one I bought as well as an extra battery because the extra battery on this camera has saved my life. We've got the little windscreen, the battery and a neck strap. And then most important part, Look at this. Oh. The battery doesn't come charged, but I had already charged the extra battery that I got. So the, the windscreen, this is really great for if you're outside, it just kind of muffles the sound of the, the wind. So it has this little, I don't know the technical terms, but this little port thing, you just slide it right in. And that way you don't hear like the of the wind as much. If you know me at all, then you already know what the first thing I'm going to record is. Let's go find Lulu. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you, hey, why are you anxious? This is supposed to be a happy moment, Lulu. This is what the audio, or, or the, not the audio. Well, I guess the audio as well, because that's the whole reason I got the camera. But this is what the visual looks like. Lulu, come on. She's even doing the little bread thing. 
Oh, yummy. I have now had it for a little bit over a week. It is absolutely beautiful and I love it but I use this to vlog. The kit lens is a 16 to 50 millimeter, which leads me into this. So it's just... I got this from B&H. There was an option to get just the lens, and then there's also a bundle option that comes with a UV filter. So I went ahead and did that because I was probably gonna buy the UV filter anyway. This is the Chiaro, Chiaro, 98% UV filter. As a free gift, because I bought the kit, it also came with the Deluxe Optics Care and Cleaning Kit from Sensei. This is cute. I mean, it's kind of bulky like to keep in my camera bag. So it comes with the lens cleaning fluid, an air blower, a retractable lipstick brush. That's incredible. Large microfiber cloth. So this is like the thing that you get when you have glasses, but like on steroids. Pre-moistened lens cleansing wipes for these little packets. Lens pen with retractable lipstick brush. This little pen. I don't know what this side is. Oh, got a little like sponge thingy. And then cotton swabs. And then the exciting part, we have the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter lens. This one is more of a wide angle lens. This is kind of what it looks like when you're holding it at an arm's length, which is good, but could be better. Kind of all bundled up. So we've got the lens. This lens is a little chonky. He's definitely bigger than the kit lens. And then it comes with this, uh, what's it called? This is going to bother me. Lens hood. Let's go ahead and try it out. Now you can see my mess. <laughs> This is what it looks like when I hold it at arm's length. So you can kind of see like more of the environment. This one is a tad bit heavier because it is chonkier. When you use it in camera stabilization, it does zoom in quite a bit, which is why they recommend to use the 10 millimeter. Now I can use the stabilization as I'm walking and it won't be too, too crazy. Now, before we get into the cleaning, when I went to my friend's wedding in Austin, I found Book People, which is apparently the biggest bookstore in Texas. It was my first stop there. And let me tell you, I was there for like two hours. So let's do a quick little haul. First off, we have Four Aunties and a Wedding by Jesse Q. Sutanto, which if you saw my best of 2021 video, I talked about Dial A for Aunties. This is the second book and I really loved the first one. So I'm really excited to read this one. And then I got This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amar El Motar. Esme, who is one of my really good friends and probably one of the coolest people that I know, she said this is her favorite book of all time and I trust her with my life. So these are the two books that I got while I was at Book People, but I had a pre-order come in while I was gone. We're just unboxing a bunch of things today. This is my favorite part. Wait, hold on. Hell yeah. So this is for the Throne by Hannah Witten. This is the second book in the, I know the first book is called For the Wolf, but I don't know if there's a specific name for the series or for the duet, but this is the second book. But now that I've made even more of a mess, let's try to declutter a little bit. I don't know why I always seem to be doing laundry when I'm filming. It is now midnight and I have a clean room, but that is pretty much all that I accomplished today. I'm gonna go have a popsicle and then go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a Friday upload. I will see you guys all in next week's video. Bye.